Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to purchase cryptocurrency on Binance US and transfer it into your own safe and secure cryptocurrency wallet. So let's get started. All right, so I'm here on the Binance US website. I'm going to show you how to purchase cryptocurrency. We'll purchase a little Bitcoin. A little bit of Ethereum, and I'll show you how to transfer them into your own wallet. Now, today I will be demonstrating a Ledger Nano X cryptocurrency hardware wallet. There are lots of wallets out there. This is the wallet that I prefer. So uh, today I'll take advantage of that wallet and show you how to make this purchase and transfer. So it's very important when you purchase cryptocurrencies to learn how to store them in your own wallet. So I'm gonna walk you through the entire process. Let's go ahead and get started. So Binance US is one of the top cryptocurrency exchanges in the US. They've got uh, a great interface, they have low fees, and it's very easy to transfer your crypto into your own wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and demo how to get through all of that. Now there are a couple of ways to achieve this. Uh, if you're more experienced, you might wanna simply make a wire transfer into your account save yourself some of the uh, fees by doing so. In that case, you would go to your wallet section and then choose deposit, right? And then uh, you can deposit crypto if you want to, if you already own existing crypto and you wanna trade with it, you can use crypto as a deposit. But if you're just getting started, you're probably just gonna deposit some US dollars in your Binance US account. Now notice here, that uh, they've got uh, a choice on how you wanna make your deposit. If you click here, you can see that I already have a couple of bank accounts set up, but you can also do a wire transfer, which would be a little cheaper on your end. And once you get the money in the account, you can use it to trade. Almost all of the cryptocurrencies in Binance US have a US dollar trading pair. So once you've got US dollars in your account, you'll be able to trade with it for uh, pretty much every cryptocurrency they have available. Now, I'm gonna show you a really easy way to do it though. Uh, one for beginners that makes it really easy, easy to wrap your head around. We'll just go up here to buy crypto and here all of the steps are laid out for you. You choose the cryptocurrency that you wish to buy, you choose your payment method and you choose your amount. Right, so I'll start with Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the default. It's already chosen for you. And then as my payment method, I'm gonna choose one of my bank accounts. This will be an ACH transfer. I'll go ahead and put in $50. So uh, now we can do a preview. And you can see that they're only charging me 25 cents out of 50 to make this purchase. So pretty low fees compared to some other exchanges. I'll click OK here that I've accepted the terms and I'll confirm. You may see this failed purchase, but it does mention that you should check your order history first to, and see whether the uh, transaction went through. Sometimes it times out even though the order has gone through. So we'll click go to wallet. And then you can see here that I have made a successful Bitcoin purchase. You can see it here in my wallet. And so we've successfully purchased Bitcoin. Now let's go and purchase a little bit of Ethereum. I'll go back up to buy crypto. And this time I will choose Ethereum instead of Bitcoin. And I will also choose again to uh, do it from my bank. I'll purchase another $50 worth. We'll click preview purchase. And you can see here, I'm uh, still getting that really low fee. I'll acknowledge this and click confirm. From there, I'll go to wallet. And you can see that I have a pending transaction, right? Um, if I click this away and refresh, you can see that my purchase was successful. In today's climate, there are a lot of investors that are trusting their crypto to hedge funds and uh, lending platforms, and you wanna avoid that. 
even though your crypto is safe on an exchange like Binance, it is best practice to keep your crypto in your own wallet. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to launch my Ledger Live. Ledger Live is the software that comes with your uh, Ledger device. I've got a lot of great videos on how you get the Ledger unboxed, set up, and uh, configured so that you're ready to receive crypto. So I'll put a link to that up in the corner there so that if you've never set up a Ledger device, you can check out that video and get yourself started. Uh, but I wanna show you, if you already have accounts set up, how do you fund them with crypto from other locations? So we'll start with our Bitcoin. We'll go in here to our Bitcoin account and we'll choose receive. So before you get started, you'll wanna make sure that you have your device attached and that you have your pin entered. All right, once you get your pin entered, you'll be at what we call the home screen of the device. Now we can continue with this uh, operation. We'll click continue here. And it wants me to open the Bitcoin uh, app on my device to confirm this. This is just a confirmation that the uh, device is indeed matched to the account that I'm using. It's going to display the Bitcoin address on my device all right, now that I've confirmed that these addresses match, I'm gonna click here to copy the address into my clipboard, all right? And then I can uh, go over here and approve. All right, now that I have the address in my clipboard, I don't need the device attached anymore. I can safely disconnect the device. It does not need to be attached to receive crypto, right? All I really needed was to get the address and now I'm good to go. I'll go back over to uh, Binance US. I will click uh, these three dots here next to Bitcoin and choose withdraw. And then I will uh, paste in the address of my ledger device. All right, I need to choose an amount. I'll choose the max. And now I'm ready to withdraw my Bitcoin from Binance US to the account based on my ledger. So we'll click preview withdrawal. There is a Bitcoin transfer fee. Be aware of that. We'll hit confirm withdrawal and then I'll enter my two factor. All right, after we've completed that step, we're going to receive an email. We'll just pull up our email and click confirm. That's an added security measure. It takes us right back to Binance US and then we can go to the wallet. You can see that my available balance is zero, but that I do have some balance that's in uh, transit right now. I can click right here on top of Bitcoin and see that I have a pending Bitcoin withdrawal. We can go back over to Ledger Live and just kind of monitor the wallet and wait for that Bitcoin to arrive. All right, and you can see in my wallet that the uh, Bitcoin has been received. Now, uh, it says not confirmed. It's gonna take a little while to confirm on the blockchain, but once you see it arriving in the wallet, you can rest assured that it is safely and securely stored in your wallet. All right, now let's try that Ethereum. We can go over to my Ethereum wallet in Ledger Live. I'll do another receive. I need to generate the address first. I'll click continue here. And then it's going to want me to open the Ethereum app on my device. All right, we'll do that by clicking both buttons. All right, now it wants us to verify the address. We can advance over using the metal button. There's the address. And then it wants us to approve it. But before we do that, let's go ahead and copy the address into our clipboard by clicking those two squares. And now we can approve on the device. All right, once we do that, let's head back over to Binance US and make our withdrawal. We'll go ahead and click those three dots at the end of the Ethereum account, and we'll choose withdraw. We're gonna go ahead and paste in the address of our ledger device. 
and we'll uh, make sure that our network is set to ERC20. All right, and uh, after this, we'll uh, check our fee. There is a small withdrawal fee for the Ethereum network. We'll go ahead and click Confirm Withdrawal here, and I'll enter my Google Authenticator code. All right, and we'll click Done here, and we're going to get an alert telling us that they've sent us an email. We just need to go over and check that email and click Confirm, and that'll take us right back into Binance US. And now you can see that uh, my available balance is now zero, and we've got some Ethereum on its way to my wallet. You can check there, and it shows I have a pending Ethereum withdrawal. We can go back over to our wallet and wait for the Ethereum to come in. All right, and you can see there that the Ethereum has arrived in my wallet. There's an incoming transaction, and the Ethereum is now safe and secure in my hardware-based wallet. All right, so I showed you how to purchase some cryptocurrencies over on Binance US. I showed you how to transfer them from Binance US into your own safe and secure hardware wallet for safekeeping. In these uncertain times, it's very important to store crypto in your own wallet. Now, you may have noticed that I had to pay some transfer fees in order to get my crypto moved from my exchange to my wallet. But that's a small price to pay for the safety, security, and peace of mind that you'll get when you keep your crypto in your own wallet. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.